In this jeep, there is a North Korean soldier who is trying to cross the border by running the jeep by getting fed up with Kim Jong-un's policies. He knows very well that he will be killed or at least injured here. So what is the compulsion that he is going to take such a big step? We will tell you about this later, but why is North Korea considered to be the biggest prison in the world? And why is it impossible to get out of here alive? Once again, welcome to our new video. Kim Jong-un is a traitor in his eyes to get out of North Korea without permission. His minimum sentence, life imprisonment and maximum death. Even in North Korea, it is considered a crime to leave one province to another without permission. Almost every organization believes that North Korea has the worst human rights record in the world. All men here have to serve in the North Korean military for at least 10 years. There is nothing like free speech here, and all media is under the control of the state. This is the only country in the world where he is also punished, whose relatives have committed a crime. In 2009, a two-year-old child was also sentenced to life imprisonment here, only because his parents had a Bible book. Because it is considered a crime to follow any religion in North Korea, it is also very difficult for a foreigner to come from the outside world. And if a foreigner gets permission to come here, he is kept in the shadows during his entire trip. And he is taken only to places where only he can see something that the government wants to show. Foreigners are also killed many times if they do anything against local law in North Korea. Like what happened with Otto Ampere. He was a U.S. citizen who visited North Korea in 2015. He was arrested in 2016 when he was accused of removing the propaganda poster from his hotel room. He was sentenced to 15 years in prison for this accusation, but after only one year, he went into a coma in North Korea's prison camp and was sent back to America. After a few days of his return to America, he did not feel the heat of the wounds that were on his brain. No one knows how he was treated in North Korea. As a result of all this, it is believed that North Korea is a very big jail, where people live as slaves even though they are free. This is the reason why North Koreans try to escape from here. But it is not easy to do so in any case, and the biggest reason for this is North Korea's geography. In the west of North Korea, there is the Yellow Sea, while in the east there is the Sea of Japan, where the North Korean Navy is so strict that it is not possible for any illegal boat to come near. South Korea is one of the biggest enemies of North Korea. That is why there is a lot of security in the sea near it. Those who escape from North Korea have no better option than South Korea. Not because South Korea is a very developed and free country, but because South Korea considers all North Koreans as its own citizens. That is, if someone escapes from the North Korean army and succeeds in crossing this line, then this step can change his life but only when he succeeds in reaching the border alive, because North Korea has set up so many armies on its border that not only humans but even birds will think a hundred times before crossing the border. This video is from 2017, when a North Korean soldier was quickly taking his jeep to South Korea. When the border guard found out, he chased him and opened fire on him. He ran towards the border leaving his jeep, but North Korean soldiers fired many shots at him. Fortunately, he entered South Korea, but many bullets hit his body. After that, South Korean soldiers came in the evening and took him in their custody. North Korean civilians have also made such attempts. Most of them were killed on the spot, but those who succeeded in coming to South Korea could not stay alive for long because of the bullet wounds. Aping directly from North Korea is like inviting death, because North Korea has deployed 750 soldiers on this border. Apart from this, Barbed wires, fences, and landmines have also been set up near the border. The second and historical way to enter South Korea is to escape from the northern border. The largest border in North Korea is China, and a small part of it is also in Russia. This method is comparatively easy, but it is not less than the difficulties. Because North Korea is not afraid of attack from China and Russia, their military deployment is also less on these borders. But this entire 1-300 kilometers border is full of dangerous mountains and forests. In addition, the border of North Korea with China runs mostly along the Tumen and Yalu rivers. That is, even if a defector reaches the China border, he will have to face the challenge of crossing the river. For this, defectors and smugglers used to wait for winters when both rivers froze, and they simply walked over it and crossed the border. 
In the same way, this method also worked in harsh summers, when the level of the river was very low. The danger of defectors still did not go away after reaching China or Russia, because North Korea had a military alliance with China and Russia, which means that if they caught a North Korean defector from their land, they would hand him over to North Korea. And then, it is not difficult to imagine the North Korea that was with them. Therefore, their work did not end when they reached China and Russia. Rather, they had to run away from here and go to another safe country. There are Myanmar and Laos in the south of China, but these two countries also sent North Korean defectors back to North Korea. Therefore, Thailand, Vietnam and Mongolia were the only option left. Their direct border is with China. In a way, these were considered safe countries for defectors. As you know, South Korea considers all North Koreans its own citizens. Therefore, these three countries sent North Korean defectors back to South Korea. The defectors first entered China or Russia and then returned to Thailand, Vietnam and Mongolia. They then voluntarily surrendered to the authorities. They were then sent to South Korea, where they could start a new life. From 1,990, a total of 34, zero North Koreans have escaped and reached South Korea. In fact, at that time, North Korea had the support of the Soviet Union. But in 1991, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, North Korea's support was over. The United States also began to impose many sanctions on it. At this point, North Korea's situation was so bad that people here began to crave food and drink. According to estimates, 35 lakh people died here due to basic necessities. Many people decided to run away from here after 1,991. Every year, the number of people who ran away from North Korea increased. Even after the end of the prison year, the number of defectors increased. In 2009, record defectors were noticed, whose number reached 3-0. In 2010 and 2011, the number of defectors increased. But then in the beginning of 2012, the number of defectors suddenly decreased by 50%. The person who ruled North Korea after 1,994, he settled down. And now it was time to take over the throne of Kim Jong-un. As soon as he came into power, Kim Jong-un first threatened smuggling and those who ran away from the country. Signal jammers were installed on the entire northern border and intelligence monitoring was also increased. Fences were installed on the border and military patrolling was also increased. In addition, Kim Jong-un also settled the matter with Russia and China to make it more strict on his side. As a result, China also installed a surveillance system on the entire border. Due to these changes, it was very difficult for North Korean defectors to enter China. And now the brokers who took money in exchange for helping these defectors from North Korea, they also increased their rates to a great extent. In 2007, the Chinese brokers who did this work in $2,000, after being strict, in 2017 they started taking $15,000 from each defector. Most North Koreans, whose annual income is equivalent to $2,000, it was impossible for them to collect so much money now. This is the reason that after 2012, that is, after Kim Jong-un came into power, the number of defectors decreased every year. And in 2019, only 1,000 defectors were successful in escaping from here. But then something happened in 2020 that made it almost impossible to escape from North Korea. At the end of 2019, when the first COVID-19 case was made in China, after two months, North Korea was the first country in the world to completely close all its borders. Because they did not want that any single case of COVID-19 could ever reach North Korea. In North Korea, it was completely forbidden to go out of any medium. It was also necessary for North Korea to do this, because the 42% of the population here still could not get proper food. That is, they have no power to tolerate COVID-19 virus in their body. In addition, in August 2020, the North Korean military ordered the Northern Border Patrol to shoot to kill. That is, they were given full authority that if they see someone going or coming to the China border, they should shoot him at that time. This is the reason that the number of people who have escaped from here has not been close to the last three years. And North Korea has become a big prison, where people can neither follow any religion nor can they stay in contact with the outside world. Google, Facebook, YouTube and the Internet 
is also used only in government offices, and only those websites open on it, which have been made by the North Korean government. They have phones, but those phones are locally assembled, in which such softwares are installed, which monitor people's phone activity. North Korea is the only country in the world where the outside world has no knowledge of what is happening. Here, executions are not hanged, but sent to firing squads, which kill people in front of everyone. In North Korea, he is also executed, who has tried to talk to a relative on the phone in South Korea. The world is watching all this drama, but no one can do anything, because the Soviet Union had transferred nuclear technology to North Korea. This is the reason that a superpower like America cannot do anything but put sanctions on North Korea. I hope you will also like and share this video. Thank you very much for your loving comments. See you in the next great video.